Hi everyone, a special midweek edition of the Bison Video Blog with Jeff Kolpak. I'm Dom Izzo. We didn't want to devote everything to football this week because there is some other teams having some great success on the north side of Fargo. Jeff, the Bison volleyball team will play in the NCAA tournament against Minnesota on Friday. And the Bison men's basketball team is 6-0 after beating Fresno State. They start conference play on Thursday with Western Illinois. Let's first talk about the volleyball team going back down to the pavilion in Minneapolis on Friday night. Another time to face Minnesota. Now, this year's team, Jeff, has played the heavyweights. They played Iowa State. They played Northern Iowa, both the five sets. They lost both of those. Does that help at all with this Minnesota game on Friday? Well, first of all, you have the same sweater on you had yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to help out yes. here. Consistency is <laughs> it important. Is, it is. Yeah, this, if, I think the Bison are ever going to win a first-round volleyball game in this tournament. This is the year. They have a senior setter in Jennifer Lopez who's been around for four years. You have a senior hitter in Chrissy Knuth and a junior hitter in Bryn Jokey who have been around the program a long time. You have some seniors like uh, Jana Diley. You have a defensive specialist who's been around three years. So you have the co components, uh, and, and they played these ranked teams yeah. uh, to five sets. So, again, if... Uh, if, if they're ever going to do it, this is the time. This is not the Minnesota heavyweight team that they've played either in the last two years. Now, granted, Minnesota is seeded, and they are a quality volleyball team, but this they are a 13 seed in the bracket. It's not like Minnesota was in the past couple of years. Well, they are a top four, top five seed. Not to say they're completely beatable, but if the Bison play a, a, a strong game, they can win this match on Friday. Well, I think a lot of it depends on the NDSU and how they attack it and their errors. If they have a lot of unforced errors, mm -hmm. then you're going to have problems. Do you have to play the perfect game? No. I don't think you ever can play the perfect game in volleyball. It's just, it's just too fast and it's just too hectic to really, uh, you know, to say you can't have a service error here and there. But you do have to be sharp and you have to be really good defensively. And, again, you know, the passing, the hitting, um, it all comes, but I think it comes down to Jen Jennifer Lopez and her experience. How much, speaking of experience, can the last two trips down there help? Does it at all, or is the two different teams uh, two different matchups? Well, I think you get rid of that newness of the NCAA, the uh, starry eye look. We're at the sports pavilion. Oh, this is the Gophers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I think that I think going again. Go we go back going to five sets with the with the fourth and sixth seeded teams right. in this tournament, which being Iowa State and Northern Iowa, Iowa, I think is a is a pretty good confidence. Boost. That's a seven thirty start on Friday down at the Sports Pavilion. We'll be there for complete highlights and reaction. Bison men's basketball team got a quality win on Saturday night over Fresno State. They stepped on the necks of Fresno State and didn't let them up the entire game. Uh, a team out of the whack. It's having a, a tough year. They're two and four, but the Bison men, Jeff, said it's six and zero, oh, getting ready to start the Summit League play on Thursday. I don't think anybody saw Phillips told me this on Friday. It's even surprised him how this start. Yeah, and I was going to ask the Fresno State coach, what he, oh, it's right, he didn't talk. <laughs> Mister, mystery there. Mystery we'll let that there, go. Yeah, we'll we'll let go. That, I have to let that go. So uh, I think NDSU uh, surprised a little bit, but I think they're really good right now because I don't think nobody knew how good Lawrence Alexander no would be. He's just so composed for a freshman. You watch him out there, he doesn't get bent out of shape. He doesn't get excited. Against Fresno, seven assists, no turnovers. And he's a freshman. He's a true freshman, albeit he went to prep school one year, but he uh, hasn't been around the college game until this fall. I mean, that to me is where it all starts. When, when you have a really good point guard, um, you know, that's just uh, everything else just follows suit. Speaking of that, Marshall Bjorklund was named the Summit League Player of the Week today. 27 points, 13 rebounds, and he was the beneficiary of those Alexander drives on Saturday, catching easy uh, passes and dunks down low. He was tremendous the last two games against Omaha and against Fresno. And again, Lawrence isn't getting the seven assists, no turnovers by just dribbling down yeah. and passing to the wing and starting <laughs> the offense. He's actually penetrating, mm -hmm. dishing. He's getting involved in the offense. That's uh, uh, When I looked at that stat, I couldn't believe it. I mean, no turnovers against Fresno is pretty good pressure. Right. Not bad. They, they're somewhat athletic, although I think they're going to have a long year in the whack. But, uh, you know, and then the other pieces are fun. Taylor Braun as a sophomore, he's acting like a junior and a senior. I mean, that's a big thing, too. You wrote about Joel Lindbergh in the paper the other day. Mm -hmm. He's added some valuable minutes as a true freshman as well. Yeah, and he, again, he doesn't act like a freshman either. He goes in and, and just does just all the little plays right. Now, granted, this was all non-conference. It really begins on Thursday night in Macomb, Illinois. Has this start changed your uh, opinion of where they can finish in this league? Is this now a top four team? No doubt about it. And again, this uh, uh, the road is a little tougher it is. in the summit. I think uh, Western Illinois is a team that has struggled in the past, a pretty stingy defensive team under Jim Molinari. 
Um, IUPUI has been a place they have really struggled. I was just getting to that, yeah. but IUPUI is where the real struggles come in. I think if they can split on the road this week, it'd be pretty good. If you sweep them, then they're really for real. Then the fun really begins. They go to Arizona State after that out of the Pac-12. We can really maybe That's a winnable gauge game. how good they are. Arizona yeah. State just lost to Fairfield out of a mid-major, out of the Matt Hack, mm -hmm. out of uh, Connecticut. So who's coached by former Moorhead Spud, Sidney Johnson, by the way, is Fairfield. There's your nerd stat of the day. So we'll see what happens, though. The Bison men off to an impressive start. Volleyball goes on Friday. This is the midweek edition of the Bison Video Blog.